Welcome everyone and happy Father's Day for those of you for whom it's applicable. Thanks for joining us today. I've been gone for a couple of weeks, so it's good to get back into this with you. Today we're going to be talking about finding your mission seed as well as how to use the flying seed to eliminate obstacles. Uh, it'll be a short lecture, probably only about 15 to 20 minutes. Let's go ahead and get started. We start with a brief review, just to make sure that everyone understands the basics of the flying seed. So remember that we have sunrise and sunset seeds. The sunrise seeds involve the I am seeds. Those are inception, appellation, and mission seeds. Finding those seeds is easy. The inception seed is based on your date and time and location of birth. And so you enter that information on the website and it'll tell you your inception seed. The appellation seed is equally easy. It is based on your name. You enter your name into the website and it will tell you your appellation seed. The mission seed requires the moon wings. You hold the moon wings and you focus on the intent within your heart, I am thy instrument. Then you let fly the moon wings and you'll do that four times, which will give you the result of a specific seed number. And that will be your mission seed for that day. You do this every morning. You enliven all three of those seeds for somewhere around one or three minutes each. So that could be just a few minutes or up to about 10 minutes of time. And then you will enliven the daily seed. You find out the daily seed simply by going to the website. And on the front page, it tells you the daily seed and how many minutes and hours you have left of that daily seed being active for you at that moment. So those are the sunrise seeds. Now, our sunset seeds, this is a little bit different. We use the moon wings a little bit more because you will have a seed of action. You will have a seed of relationship and you will then enliven your seed of inception, the inception seed. So you begin each morning with the inception seed and you end each day beginning the night with the inception seed but you start with the seed of action. And for the seed of action, we will use the mission, the moon wings, and the intent for the moon wings is I am the way. You let fly the moon wings four times using that intent each time, I am the way, and that will give you the result of your seed for the seed of action. What is the seed of action? Lantos explained that Actions that you engaged in during the course of the day. If they were good, if they were productive, then this seed of action strengthens those results so that you can get more of that. However, if there was an action that was not good for you during the day, then it leaves, it leaves a lasting effect. The seed of action will mitigate that effect. It will help to eliminate that effect. So that's the seed of action. Then we have the seed of relationship. Here, Lantos explained that this strengthens relationships, not just among you and other people, but it could be cosmic relationships as well. And for this, you use the moon wings again. You let fly the moon wings four times. You will, however, use a different intent. The intent is, I am the song of life. You will hold that intent in your heart at the beginning each four times. Each of the four times that you let fly the moon wings. I am the song of life, then you let fly the moon wings. That will give you your seed of relationship. After you've done those two, you will do the inception seed, your inception seed. You'll do this three to five minutes for each one, meaning 10 to 15 minutes just before you go to bed. So that is our sunset seeds. Then, the last time that we spoke, a couple weeks ago, uh, I went over what Lanto said would be a good schedule to keep on a daily and a weekly basis. I've, and I heard that for many of you, it was just too much, and I understand that. So I want to make clear that this is not a requirement. What Lantos made clear 
was that you should be doing the flying seed, the, suns, the sunrise seeds every morning, the sunset seeds every night, and you should be doing that without fail. So remember, the sunrise seeds, that could just be three minutes for the IM seeds and another three minutes for the daily seed. That's six minutes of your time in the morning. That would be the minimum amount of time, but that's just six minutes. Then the sunset seeds, three to five minutes each, and there are only three of them, so you could do that in just nine minutes, and then you're done with that. He said also that you should do the creating every morning. You should have been doing that all along anyway, and you can do just a little bit of creating, just five or ten minutes, and that will still be good. In the evening time, he said, make sure to do your personal pathway technique. That's the nectar of life technique using the pendant of eternal light and your personal bio trinity. That's five minutes. So that means uh, anywhere from 10, 15 minutes in the morning and another 10, 15 minutes in the evening is all you really need to be doing. But for those of you who love the effects, who really notice it in your lives, because uh, we've heard from many people. I know that all of you are busy, but the time that you invest in this, the time that you invest in doing your creating technique, it is not time taken away from your day. It is time well invested in the course of your day so that the rest of your day is much easier, much more efficient, and much more effective. Spending 15 minutes to make sure that the next 15 hours go smoothly and effectively is a good investment of time. So for those of you who want to do more, Lantos gave these instructions as far as what would be the things that would be a really good idea for you to try to do every day. So we start each morning with the sunrise seeds. This is before any of the other techniques. After that, you enliven the golden matrix of starlight. The golden matrix, that's where you hold the super water cell in your left hand, super star cell in your right hand, sit quietly for five minutes, then set those aside, hold the pendant of eternal light in your left hand and the golden bio trinity in your right hand and do that for five minutes. And that's the technique for the golden matrix. He said that it would open up the physical structure, your physical body to receive the blessings of the flying seed. After that, do your creating and ability techniques for however long you want. If you only have five minutes to do it, do it for five minutes. If you have 25 minutes, do it for 25 minutes. And then after that, make sure to do your shield, uh, the shield and flame technique for protection. Do this every morning after you have done your techniques and before you leave the house. And it's not because bad things will happen to you if you don't do it. It's because when you generate such great light for yourself in the morning, it is good for you to be able to hold on to that light. Uh, think of, well, we're in the summertime now, so, so think of a very hot summer day. Uh, if you have the air conditioning going on inside your home, you want to keep the doors and windows closed. Why? Not because bad things will happen if you have them open, but because the air conditioned air will go outside and the hot air will come in and you'll still be uncomfortable. Same concept here. After you generate great light for yourself in the morning, Hold on to it. You do that by protecting yourself, making sure that your shield of protection is effective. This technique takes one minute. And again, it is a good investment of time. So then our afternoon, pearl of starlight for 10 minutes, evening time, here Lanto said, if you can do the phrases of affluence, the affluence technique, that would be good. If you can do the vision technique, that's where you lie down with all the various tools on different uh, areas of your body on your eyelids and your hands, your throat, your heart, uh, the seven steps of the vision technique that we learned during the course of love. If you're able to do that, that's great. The personal pathway, the technique of the personal pathway, the nectar of life technique, this is five minutes and you should be doing it every evening if you didn't do it earlier in the day. And then you will do your sunset seeds. You'll finish up with the sunset seeds. On a weekly basis, if you're able to enliven the garland of Genesis, that would be great too. So those are the techniques that Lantos said would be very good for you to be doing on a daily and a weekly basis. Now let's talk a little bit more about the mission. 
This is your I am seeds in the morning. It's the M of the I am, your mission seed. The reason why we're going to talk about this first is that I mentioned a course. Well, a couple of weeks ago in Lantos's message, he mentioned a course that we're going to be holding at the seat of the flying seed in Hawaii. And that will be in about a month. I would give you more information, but I don't yet have it. I'll have more information on Wednesday for you, and then we'll have all the information next Sunday. But I should be able to give you uh, a good amount of information in just a few days on Wednesday. But one of the big reasons for going is to be able to discover your mission seed. This is important. So here is what Lanto said about finding one's mission. Cindy asked Lanto, since we all do this every morning. We use the moon wings every morning to find our mission seed. Why was he placing such a premium on going to the great central translator at the seed of the flying seed to find your mission seed? Lanto said this, mission is the wind, the great wind which never ceases. This wind aids the individual along the path with greater speed, greater ease, and guides the life force through the maze of obstacles. When one travels with the wind, the journey is smooth, the journey is rapid. One receives support from the surroundings. When one moves against the wind, the bumps are felt and the pace is slowed. The journey in the cross direction of the great wind may be described in a single word, uncomfortable. One encounters discomfort, discomfort and struggle. One encounters even the feeling of fear. These feelings are symptoms that the path one is on is a path on the cross currents of the great cosmic wind. The wind is the unseen force. Though unseen, the effects are easily perceived. Now, how do we find the great cosmic wind stream? This is the question which is within each individual. Each individual searches for the mission. Each individual naturally seeks to locate the great cosmic current. One senses its existence. One senses the existence of this great cosmic flow, great cosmic wind of existence. The answer is that one's location will influence one's ability to connect with this great cosmic wind. The current position of the individual may have objects in the environment which interfere with the currents of energy, the forces of energy that we call mission. The environment is ever-changing. The obstacles which are here today may not remain for long periods. Some obstacles may simply pass along as clouds moving through the sky. It is for this reason that we repeat our process of selection of the seed of mission with regularity so that the guidance may be adjusted to the current conditions of the environment. The moon wings sense the energies beyond the surface level. The moon wings detect the layers which are beneath the surface waves. They are like finely tuned antenna. The high quality satellite dish is able to detect the slightest signals, the distant signals. The dish is shaped with the empty region for a reason. Like our blessed moon wings, the signals are enhanced through the shape of the emptiness. Yet, even still, even with the highly tuned abilities of the satellite dish, these signals may encounter interference. The conditions of the passing weather, the passing obstacles, these interferences may cause some fuzziness, some influence on the signal. It is in the presence of our beloved master tool the master tool of the great central translator, that the signals of the source may be most clearly detected. This is the role of our beloved great central translator. The great central translator transmits the finest impulses 
from the most refined layers of creation. It is the super antenna which tunes to the finest frequencies of creation. The great central translator acts as a guide for our blessed moon wings, escorting the moon wings to the most refined regions. In this clear air, the pure nature and direction of the great cosmic wind may be detected with greatest accuracy. Yes. The search for the great cosmic wind. The search for one's mission. This is found in the presence of our beloved great central translator. Yes, yes. Very good. Very good. Cindy asked him a little bit more about how it works to find to receive your seed of mission at the Great Central Translator. Lanta said, very good. It is a great honor to receive the seeds of mission. The beloved grace of the Great Central Translator illumines the layers and realms. The precious moon wings detect the impulses of the wind. It is a great blessing. It is well done. Yes, we will receive the knowledge of the Trinity form of the mission seed. The knowledge flows. Our beloved master teacher, Tote, issues the knowledge for the eon of eternal light. The knowledge unfolds as the petals of the water lotus unfold, revealing the radiance within. It is very good. Lanto's head referred to the Trinity of the mission, the Trinity form of the mission seed. He had mentioned to Cindy that there would be not one but three mission seeds that one would receive if you find your mission seed at the Great Central Translator. Cindy asked how we would use those three seeds. Was it any different than when we do the I am seeds in the morning? Lanta said yes. With the initial aspect of the mission seed trinity, we will select the great sphere associated with the seed. We will also take up the sphere associated with the second aspect of the mission trinity. The initial aspect is to be held in the left hand together with the super water cell. The second aspect is to be held in the right hand together with the super star cell. As we perform our morning I am seeds, we will hold these precious tools within our hands during our performance. The third aspect of the mission trinity is the aspect with which, we, uh, which will be performed in our practice of creating, the I am seeds of creation. It is in the harmony of the third seed that the currents of wind locate the individual essence and offer the acceleration to the source the source of all. The source is the goal of all. Yes, we will perform the techniques of the beloved I am seeds of creation at the start of every day. It is very good, very good, very good. Many blessings. Of the Trinity form of the mission seeds, Lantos explained that the first seed, the one that you hold in your left hand, represents the intent of the source. The second seed, the one that's held in your right hand, represents the expression on the material plane. And the third seed, the one that you place on the flying seed and you create, represents reunion with the source, acceleration and achievement of the goal. So this is one of the things that you will be doing if you go to the course in Hawaii and go to the Great Central Translator, you will have the opportunity to find the mission seed, Trinity form. Now let's talk about the removal of an obstacle using the flying seed. Lanto said, removal of an obstacle. In our study of harmonics, we come to the question of obstacles, obstacles along the path. What do we make of an obstacle that appears along our proper path. How do we handle this encounter? Performance of our I am seeds will be of great assistance, daily assistance. We proceed along the path supported by the universal harmonics. Yet, even with the support of these mighty forces, there can be times when our path meets with a block, a block which halts the effortless flow of our present direction. 
There may be many possible causes for these disruptions of the currents which flow in support of our desires. These disruptions may arise from the causes of the past, or there may be, they may be the results of other energies and forces. Whenever we encounter these forces which interrupt the flow of support, we will employ the skills. We will call upon the finely tuned skills of perception of our blessed moon wings. Our moon wings are the antenna which pick up the presence of fine energies and the sources of these energies. With the intent for the removal of that obstacle which stands in the path, one lets fly the blessed moon wings. One releases the intent and with this, one releases the moon wings. The intent flies with the wings. We will locate the realm Lord and the three values of spin keys to identify the seed associated with the issue. Once this seed has been identified, we may perform creating, the blessed art of creating, with this seed. We will take the wheel belonging to this seed and place it upon an image of the goal. We will add a beloved pendant of eternal light along with the super star cell or a super water cell to ignite these energies of transformation and removal of the obstacles. We will leave this wheel positioned on this image for 24 hours. The image may be a visual image or it may be a location on a map or it may be a written description of the goal. In all cases, the tools re will remain upon the image for 24 hours. One may perform the technique of creating on this seed several times during the day. Like this, we will make use of our blessed treasure trove of knowledge, which we have been given. We offer our thanks to this most, for this most sublime gift of knowledge, knowledge of the eon of eternal light. Yes, many blessings. Okay. So how do we do this technique, the removal of an obstacle? We use our moon wings. So we take the moon wings and we set the intent for the removal of the obstacle which stands in your path. We hold that intent, we let fly the moon wings. We hold that intent a second time, let fly the moon wings a second time. We do that four times and that gives us a seed. Then we place the wheel that is associated with that seed on the flying seed on the seed and then we create. We create using the seed phrase for that particular seed. Then we take the wheel and we place it on an image of our goal. The image can be a visual image, it could be a picture, the image could be the location on a map, it could be a written description of the goal but we place the wheel on that image, location on a map, written desire of the goal. Then we add a pendant of eternal light and a supercell, either the super water cell or the super star cell, either one, on top of that image. We will leave it there for 24 hours and during that period of time, you can create using the flying seed as many times as you want for the outcome, the removal of that obstacle. So that is our instruction for how we use the flying seed to remove obstacles. Okay, everyone, thanks for joining me today. It's great to be back with you. I enjoy it every time. I'll talk to you on Wednesday. I'll give you more instructions about the course that's coming up in Hawaii. And then I'll talk to you again a week from today on Sunday, more about the flying seed and more about the flying seed teacher training course in Hawaii. Everyone, happy Father's Day. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you on Wednesday.